It's been a long while since I've been this excited about a new signature model from Fender. Today we're going to tell you all about the new Fender Kingfish Telecaster Deluxe. Stick around. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. And I'm Cooper Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos, do all that fun stuff. If you want to support the channel, visit our Teespring store link below for cool swag and check out our podcast, The Fretboard Confessional, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And buy this guitar because it's awesome and I'm going to buy one. That's a I'm not buying one right now. I can't yeah. buy one right now, but I'm going to get one. It's not a limited edition. It's very worth it. And uh, yeah. it's going to be in my collection. It's a very, very cool guitar. Yeah, it looks, I mean, the looks I feel like are very striking, but it's the sound for sure yeah. um, that takes it over the top. So let's talk about this. This is a new signature model from Fender. It's a Telecaster Deluxe designed in collaboration with Christone Kingfish Ingram, who is one of the most phenomenal blues players. Yeah. And I was telling you a story earlier at a dealer event. I got to see him up close. I guess it was the beginning of his relationship with Fender. And uh, just humble guy. It was interesting. Like once he, he starts playing guitar, his personality is just ginormous. But he otherwise yeah. seems super soft-spoken and humble and, and, and just really cool. Yeah. I really dig that. And his music's phenomenal. Yeah. I saw him opening for Vampire Weekend, which is the weirdest combo <laughs> That's a weird I've ever heard. And I saw act. it like on the, I got tickets to see Vampire Weekend, got there super early to get up front. And I saw that it was going to be Kingfish. And I was like, I feel like they made a clerical error and he's actually opening for, you know, Eric Johnson the next night or something. But it was straight up Kingfish and blew everybody away. Listen, I, I'm down for this kind of eclectic concert going. Yeah. Let's have Bella Fleck open for Metallica next. He could do it because then throw down a little banjo, oh, yeah. do the sitar solo on like, yeah. But they brought him out. They brought Kingfish out with Vampire Weekend. And it's the newer lineup, so it's like 10 people on yeah. stage. And they did uh, Vampire Blues, Neil Young. Very cool. Unreal. Yeah, Very so, cool. and I think he was at um, the Dallas Guitar Show when we were there, right? He was headlining that stage. Uh, he was one, yeah, they had a ton of out artists. Out in the yes. garage, so you couldn't hear a thing. Right. But that was kind of my first, like, you know, he blew me away even though the sound was bad. And then seeing him at the Moody Theater, even better. When I saw him, it was a surprise. Had no idea. Certainly didn't know I'd be, like, within 10 feet of him listening to him shred. And, you know, all of us being, you know, guitar nerds were all yeah. checking out his rig and what pedals he's using. And it was interesting that night he was playing through, he was playing at that event at Ventura Strat through like a Tone Master and just killing it. Yeah. Just killing it. But yeah, so let's talk about his new guitar. Uh, you know, it harkens back to other brand of guitars that he, people are used to seeing him. Um, <coughs> rhymes with Chipson. Uh, and so this is certainly a cool collaboration, but it's not like a full on kind of troublemaker telecopy of yeah. like a Les Paul. Yeah, and the cool thing is, it, I mean, we talked about the sound a little bit. These are Kingfish pickups, um, specially voiced and mm -hmm. designed with Fender to be specific for the Kingfish guitar, and they will be available just as pickup set. Yeah, so, so if you're crazy enough not to like this amazingly awesome purple finish, you can route your guitar with like a hand tool. Yeah. You know, just a, you know, off the shelf DeWalt drill, just because yeah, a pick guard's going on top of it anyway, mm -hmm. and then throw yeah. those humbuckers into it. It's all good. The humbuckers, you know, I when I think about his playing, it's like a nice clean sort of tone, and then when he lays in, obviously there's probably pedals working there, but a lot of volume control to yeah. push. So, I mean, we used it with the uh, Blues Junior today. It's like they are perfect for that kind of feel. They clean up real well yeah. and then allow you to really use the overdrive and the amp as you hit yeah. that preamp harder and with the pickups. Unlike a lot of humbuckers, they are clean when you roll that volume back sometimes, especially with guitars that are much lower end than this. Um, the humbuckers are going to be muddy and yeah. just kind of fall apart and then you really got to dig it in. This, it's kind of balanced along the whole spectrum, so it's really nice. Let's talk about some of the other specs. So it is a Telecaster Deluxe body. Let's talk about the finish. It is Mississippi Night, is that Mississippi right? Mississippi Night. It's an awesome purple metallic finish. Yeah. Um, that Yeah, I, I'm loving, and my wife's favorite color is purple, so I'm gonna use that as an in yeah. to say like, I should get this guitar. Um, Kingfish on the neck plate. And the cool little crown too. Yeah, the, the, the custom um, pickups have that K on there. 
So roasted maple neck, mm -hmm. really nice, kind of a soft V vibe, and then the big 70s headstock, which works on this guitar. I know you don't think it works on other guitars. Yes, I have an opinion that it doesn't work on strats. This is a personal opinion, okay? Yngwie Malmsteen, come at me. Um, I think it works on tellies. I think yeah. it works on offset bodies. It yeah. just looks weird on a strat to me. But I dig it here. Yeah. Um, yeah. It fits the vibe for sure. Rosewood fretboard, 12-inch mm -hmm. radius, just like a Les Paul. Okay, you've got your three-way toggle, mm -hmm. two tones, two volumes. And then I dig that they did a tunematic with a stop tail yeah. rather than a traditional kind of just, you know, string through telly kind yeah. of setup. It changes the feel. Like changes it feels feel different. Sure. Um, it is strong with tens and it is a 25 and a half inch scale length. Um, so it is that typical telly uh, scale length. It feels great. That was one thing I was like, how's this gonna feel? Yeah. Tens on it, the because they've typically been going to lighter gauge strings on yeah. a lot of their guitars. It feels fantastic. With the roasted maple on the neck and a nice satin, it feels super broken in already, yeah. but it's not relict in any way. It's just nice and smooth. Um, a lot of people get turned off seeing V on the spec sheet. They think it's going to be really soft. Yeah, soft it's, v. it's very soft. I feel like if I didn't look at the spec sheet before we, you know, shot the video, I probably could get tricked yeah. into thinking it's kind of CS. Well, I feel like if you hadn't said anything, no one would get hung up. So way to go. Get hung up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fight. <laughs> um, no, it, it's a great feeling neck, and yeah, yeah, if someone didn't tell you it was a V-neck, you probably wouldn't know. Yeah, and there's been a lot of good V-necks from Fender recently. The JV Modifieds mm -hmm. had really nice, soft V. It just feels really, really comfortable, as opposed to, as you were talking about, an old... Yeah, there's you know, vintage guitars of the past that literally, yeah. It's, it's, it's like it's, resonator neck. It's yeah. tough, yeah. Yeah, but this is not one of them. This is very comfortable. Um, it kind of begs to be played in the style of him, even though neither of us could ever wish to be as good as Kingfish. Well, we'd um, have our own signature guitars and a record deal. Just yeah. Saying. That's like Christian. Fish. Instead of a YouTube dude. channel. That's like Coop Fish, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but yeah, so playing it through the Blues Junior, right in the middle between Breakup and Clean, because, you know, as a dynamic player, I think that's how he would like it to be done. Yep. Nothing too crazy, but you can see how the pickups react to some clean versus digging in. So let's do it.
It looks good on me, right? It looks fantastic. Yeah, I, 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 I'm gonna get one. That's what's, what's, that's what it's about. You know, we didn't talk about the knobs. It's one of my favorite things on this. These top hat kind of amp knobs. But it just looks amazing. It sounds amazing. Yeah. What's the sticker on this puppy? Oh, well, why don't you tell me? Because I don't want to be wrong. Because I think I might be wrong. It's 1999. Well, that's good for me. So, 1999, made in the U.S. It comes with the deluxe locking case, the TSA latches, all of that good stuff. Uh, fantastic guitar, and you know, I think priced correctly for a U.S. signature model guitar. Yeah, and the. I, I keep saying it, a roasted maple neck one, that's a really yeah. nice upgrade, but the pickups are the big deal for mm -hmm. me on this guitar. I like that it's a vintage vibe, but with the color, it's a brand new color. Uh, the roasted maple neck, not something that you see on old school guitars, yeah. new pickups. Uh, so it's a good combo because he's a very vintage inspired player, but brings this whole new modern thing to it. It fits. I think they probably worked on it a ton over a long period of time. It's got the belly cut for those of us who have the belly, which is nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, it's funny. I've already been, I was recently looking at Tele Deluxes. I just kind of, you know, been wanting yeah. a dual pickup, a uh, humbucking pickup Tele. I, for me, it's the it's the pickups. I like the 12-inch radius and then that satin feeling neck. It's fantastic. So. Yeah, it's good looking rosewood, too, on the fingerboard. Yeah. I feel like sometimes... More recently, I've been seeing rosewood that I don't love streaky? as much. Streaky rosewood. I mean, I like. I'm. It's streaky. I'm. I'm fine with whatever, <laughs> just as long as it's good looking. All right. Well, hey, good looking. This is good looking. A um, bone nut on that bad boy yeah, as well. Yeah. Um. Oh, did we talk about the thing on the headstock? It's got the his little signature. That's cool. It's very cool. So, if you want this guitar, uh, they are available. You can go to our website. It is. I think it's going to be alamomusic.com because that's where you're going to find the kingfish as well as a bunch of other... You're a little aggressive there. <laughs> if you start typing Chicago into the get out of there, alamomusic.com. I'm, I'm, bid, I'm bidding on that on Google. It just goes back to us. Anyways, um, j jokes, jokes. We got yeah, jokes. Yeah, we're just taking it easy. Over so, uh, so yeah, go to alamomusic.com. You can check out the photography, all of the specs. You can chat with someone. Call us, email us, come in, get these guitars. Um, we have, so I did say they're not limited. I should clarify that. It's not a limited edition, but like everything right now, it's a limited number at launch. So this should be in the lineup. Uh, I hope it gets great uh, response and it's in the lineup for years because I think this is one of those unique signature models that deserves to be in the lineup for a, a good while. Yeah. Um, but take advantage now if you're wanting one. That's your public service announcement. Otherwise, they'll sell out everywhere and it'll be next year. So take my word for it. Anyways. Yeah, and if you got yourself something that has routing for some humbuckers and you like the sound, but you don't want to drop the 1999 sticker, let us know because we can get you some cool kingfish humbuckers as well. Yep, absolutely. If you're new to the channel, I always say the best guitar in the world is the one that you're playing, especially if it is in purple like this guitar with these awesome humbuckers. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos, and keep coming back for more. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.